Oh, you don't want to talk about that? I do want to talk about that. <laughs> I do. <laughs> What up, y'all? It's your boy Jacob, aka Prone to Ride. Welcome back to my vlog. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for coming. You came just in time. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button below and the bell icon right next to it to receive notifications of when the dope content drops. You guys, it is the official relaunch of Prone to Ride. It's a week of reflection and new beginnings because the 2019 U.S. Adaptive Open Surfing Championships is this week in Oceanside. And we're also doing our giveaway finish where we're going to be giving our lucky winners a surfboard, some merchandise from Prone to Ride, Live Mind, and Bro Deal Surf. And it's going to be amazing. It's going to be fantastic. If y'all been living under a rock, I just launched a brand new website, prone to ride.com complete with a clothing line, merchandise, stickers. Go check it out, please. Would really appreciate it if you guys could buy some merchandise because that helps continue on passing the stoke. It allows me to go to different events and help nonprofits out. Today is a really special day and I thought it was a perfect opportunity for you guys to meet the one person, the first person to help me start Prone to Ride and his name is Robert Graves. He is a Marine Corps vet and he's had my back and he helped me start Prone to Ride. So I'm excited for y'all to meet him. Let's go check it out. <laughs> That is the man, the myth, the legend right there, Mr. Robert Gravy Train Graves. It's the original. Finally I get on this thing. <laughs> this is the man that started or helped start Prone to Ride. We met in grad school. Jake will label it down to one day. And um, I think it it's a slow burn. Like, slowly, yeah. you know, we had that hypnotherapy session together. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. you know, oh, you don't want to talk about that? I do want to talk about that. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah. That's a little woo-woo. We had a conversation in his car, my car. It was my car taking you to your car mm -hmm. um, about what a perfect life would look like. What, like, what excites you and that moment of that, or that drive, I was experiencing a mental breakdown because I had reached my mental limit. I was working three jobs at that time. With Galaxy? I was working at the LA Galaxy yeah. as a coach. Yeah. I was working for Long Beach State yeah, as director as a, of operations for yeah. the track team. And I was doing the mentoring job. That's right. Yeah. And I was going to school full time. Full time. And I was breaking down in that moment because I experienced some incredible discrimination yeah. that we don't want to talk about right now. No. But it was, just <laughs> it was really intense Yeah. and I couldn't hold it in anymore and I think I broke down and cried in front of you yeah. and it was bad no. and it was uh, it was really intense so that that specific night you know um, it was it really kind of changed or shifted my my perception or my paradigm and that then we we took a chance yeah. and we I went to your house and we started that GoFundMe. Yeah. That that seems That's like right. years ago. Dude, that like, does seem like a long time ago. It seems so far. I remember when I didn't have hair. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. Like, well, why me? Yeah. Like, and I said, why not? Why not you? You used that momentum and we went and got your first sponsor. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Like you were like, well, how do I get a spot? And we went and I was like, you just ask, man. Yeah. And then like, I think 
not even two weeks later, like, I got another sponsor. <laughs> you know, and yeah. you know, and then you left me in the dust. Proud, like a, as as proud as a little brother I could be, you know, and then like watching you like walk across the stage and you know, you know, eating eating you know, breaking bread with the fam after that. I mean like yeah. the progression of where you were to where you are, I mean like you know, muscle mass now. You know, <laughs> I grew a little bit. <laughs> you, yeah. Your balls dropped. <laughs> like every time you say this is the guy, like I didn't do anything, man. I was just there for a friend. You know. Yeah. Um, but that's what matters most is being yeah. there for the people, being there for the people you care most about, yeah. and giving them your time. It's time is the most valuable asset that we have. Shit, you ain't lying. And we don't get it back. We you never know? get it back. We don't. With the new website launch that we discussed. Dope. We, yeah. Dope. Yeah. Dope. A perfect opportunity to reflect, and it was just happened to match up perfectly that I come to see you today. You know, the guy who was like the day one, the guy who really helped start it and then kind of grew from there, you know? It's hard to believe in yourself if nobody else believes in you. Mm. And when, when you finally get that taste of somebody, like somebody believes that I can, like, it, it, it just puts a different type of confidence behind you. It's like right? jet fuel. All right, guys, it's Wednesday, the day before the official start of the U.S. Adaptive Open. Great time seeing Robert Gravy Train Graves. As you guys can tell, we have a great relationship, tight friendship. We've been through a lot together. It's time to give back, do something tangible to change someone's life. And it's happening this weekend at the U.S. Open. And I've finished up my prep for travel down there. So let me give you guys a quick sneak peek on what the prep work looked like and what I'm bringing down. As you guys can tell, I'm pretty prepped. I like to keep my options open. This is the custom ball that I took to Europe and it's finally fixed and it's available for action. So that will be the main board of the competition. I'm super stoked about it. I mean, look at this baby, man. Isn't she gorgeous? She's gorgeous. Oh, look at that. What is that? That is, that's what you call my logo on a surfboard, baby. Yeah. Got our water gear right here. Got the rinse kit. And then we got some exclusive prone to ride merchandise for our giveaway winners. You know, as I keep saying before, it's a really reflective time in my life right now. I'm super excited. I couldn't be more ecstatic about what has been happening and I'm doing something that I've always wanted to do in my life which is give back to where I can actually see the work doing good and uh, it's happening with the giveaway and it's in line with my mission as far as empowering others to go after their best selves and to believe in themselves to accomplish whatever they believe possible and that's what the merchandise line is all about that's what the shop is all about it's about looking good and feeling good, no matter what you're doing. And I'm just excited about it. So we're on our way down there tonight. I couldn't be more excited about it. So let's get this freaking show on the road, baby. Woo!